Right now, crews in Southbridge are trying to figure out how this six alarm fire started. Southbridge called several neighboring towns for backup after the fire erupted, and then hours later, another fire started. WBZ's Jim Smith is live in Southbridge tonight with the latest. Jim? Ken, to say the least, it has been a wild Sunday here in Southbridge. First came a huge fire right here downtown in the afternoon, and then this evening, yet another fire. Now investigators are trying to figure out if those fires are connected. A long, busy Sunday stretched into the night in Southbridge as emergency crews rushed to yet another fire, a house erupting in flames only hours after a gigantic fire broke out downtown. That earlier multi-alarm fire tore through a huge brick building with apartments on top and businesses on the bottom. A few firefighters were treated for heat exhaustion, but nobody was hurt in either fire. Now investigators have questions. Uh, here in Southbridge, uh, a couple of years ago, we did have an arsonist uh, who was lighting multiple buildings on the fire at that time. Uh, I, I don't know if that's happening today. That's why we will use all the assets that the state has to help us figure some of these things out to see if there is some common threads or if there aren't any. The downtown fire displaced about a dozen residents and also damaged a number of businesses, including a thrift shop dedicated to helping the needy. The shop manager did salvage something crucial, though. All the toys are good, because we had just gotten about $1,000 worth of toys to go towards Christmas for Toys for Tots, because yep. these guys started pulling them out when it happened, but they're all good. But not everyone was that lucky. Some businesses are in ruins. My hairdresser's right down on the bottom floor. They lost everything, and it's a shame. They just did everything over, and, and uh, it's a shame. I, I saw them earlier and gave them a hug, and they were crying, and I feel so bad for them. So once again, no injuries from either of these fires, no serious injuries at least. We did have some heat exhaustion, as we mentioned, from some of the firefighters from earlier. But now comes the investigation to see if they're possibly linked. Live in Southbridge tonight, Jim Smith, WBZ News. All right, Jim, thanks.